Hey everybody. I am going to do um, a ring pour, um, which uh, from my playing around from the other day for, oh, I gotta find gloves, for um, my commission, but I'm gonna try it with um, white and then barely their colors. And I would prefer to do it on a round because I like the pink colors on the round, but um, I don't have one, so a square will have to do. So this is um, a wood panel from um, Blick. These are the ones I often use. And then it is primed with gesso and sanded. All right, so I got some white. So it is for me right now, Thursday, which means tomorrow's Friday. Um, it's been kind of a weird night. Nobody's home, but me, obviously, because I'm here. And my dog comes in from outside to eat dinner and there's blood on her leg, but it's like on her fur. And I see no wound, no nothing. So, and I'm making dinner at this point. Um, so I was like, you know, thought some nice words in my head and put on my tennis shoes and went outside to psych myself up for finding a dead body. And I searched and I searched that yard with like that feeling of growing dread in my stomach and I didn't find anything. And um, I don't know if that's worse because <laughs> now I don't know if she hurt herself, I can't find any wound and she has no pain. Um, if she, if she did get something and it's not there now, that means it's in her stomach or she got something and it escaped. Eat, any way you put it, I had to stop eating. So I'm, sh I hope none of you are eating right now. Um, and I really shouldn't be using this big of a cup, but I was so grossed out. You don't even know. This is not going to work how I planned, I think, because I used such a big cup that the colors are sinking. I'm not able to like layer them because it's so far down that, oh, that I don't think this is going to work as planned, but nothing. <laughs> See, it's like my dog. Maybe she was just painting outside. Maybe that's all it was. Oh no, this is not at all what I wanted. Oh, this is so not what I wanted. But this is good. Um, this is really good to know for um, when I go to do Mission. This is not what I wanted at all. Oh my gosh, no. Let's see if I can dump it back in there. Nothing against seashells or California or Florida colors, <laughs> but that's what this looks like. So to dig on my parents some more in there, because um, I like to make fun that their um, living room hasn't been updated since the 80s. And they're really like, I hate to use the word hip because my kids make fun of me because that automatically means you're not hip, but I like that word. So my parents are actually pretty hip, but 
their condo that they have. It came decorated, and this condo is in Missouri, um, came decorated like this, like a Florida retirement home. Nothing against Florida retirement homes, but I mean, it even had like this huge fake tree that was like twice the size of the living room, it seemed, um, which they finally got rid of. But I make fun of them all the time. But my dad is like my son, and he never gets rid of anything, even if he should. All right, so I now have a putrid cup of colors. And, well, what the heck am I going to do? Um, boy. Hmm. I'm kind of at a loss because that was my one idea. <laughs> oh, no. Well, well, well. Let's do a mallet smash with no white underneath the puddles. I really don't. I don't know what else to do at the moment. So I'm thinking that didn't work because um, when the colors poured in, they were mixing. Um, so they're getting all mixed up. Had the paint been thicker and had I been able, like a lower cup, I wouldn't have had to, it, you know, it traveled high. So had it been lower, would have had a better chance of being able to layer the color. And had it been thick, I could have as well. So I think those were the issues, two issues I was dealing with. I'm hearing noises upstairs. Nobody's home. Where is the air conditioning? I feel like I'm going crazy. Speaking of crazy, I don't know if I already talked about this, but have any of you seen the movie Hereditary? I watched it Saturday, Sunday night maybe it was. And I watch all sorts of horror films. I love horror movies. And that one, like the last quarter, I sat behind my husband and used him as a human shield. And then the movie was over and it's like WTF. And I had to go look online to be like, what just happened? What did I just watch? But it was an excellent movie. It is unlike anything I have ever seen in my entire life. Um, it is very unusual. So if, if you like a scary movie and you're in the mood for something different, check it out because it is definitely different. And then I saw on Amazon, Unsane, where you don't know if she's crazy or the people at the mental hospital are crazy. I feel like I've had this conversation with you all. So have I? Maybe I'm unseen. <laughs> Aren't all artists supposed to be though? Isn't that like the requirements? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Although, oh my gosh, and I'm totally going Oh my gosh, you probably all know who she is, and I cannot think of her name. Oh my gosh, she does the speckles, the spots, and she lives in a mental hospital. And she is old, like in her 80s. And um, she, a lot of her work, she's got um, like the big, huge speckled pumpkin um, sculpture. Oh my God, what is her name? I can see her name and I'm picturing her right now. 
because in the was it sixties and seventies she did tons of live um, art displays with naked people, and she is fascinating. There's all sorts of videos about her. She's incredibly unique and talented. Um, I'm sure one of you will put her name, type her name in by the time I can think of it. Um, cause I can't think of it right now, but she has her studio. Woo! I forgot about the halo. She has her studio across the street from the hospital that she lives in. And she's lived there for like 20 years. She just likes living there. So. She obviously either has money or good health insurance. <laughs> because in America, good luck trying to get into a mental or a, yeah. Well, any hospital, but especially mental health. Especially if you live where I live, because there are none. Well, there's like two. For like a population of greater city is about a million people. Two hospitals. Sorry, that's one of my rants. I shouldn't be going off on a rant, but thinking about that artist made me think about that that if I wanted to live in a hospital, I couldn't. Oh my God, I am, I, I'm really off the rails today. I think it's because of the dog. And I never ate, so I never did eat dinner. If any of you have watched me forever, that was, I think, a title of one of my pores from over a year ago. Is it like, don't paint on an empty stomach or something like that? So what I am noticing here that is very cool, that is unlike any of my other mallet smashes, is that they are going off because um, I poured the white differently and I poured the color straight onto the board, not onto the white. And um, normally I don't have to tip it because normally it's already covered. So the way I did this was entirely different um, than I have before, because I think I have put color straight on it before, but I still went ahead and um, got the white all the way around. But on this one, I didn't. And um, it's kind of a unique look. Um, I'm thinking the neon yellow was an unfortunate choice of color, possibly, but uh, I do like the style, <laughs> um, but that may not have been the best color choice. Uh, and I'm going to try and kind of smash that out a little bit. Yeah. And some that neon yellow, see, look what it's like. And some that neon yellow is amazing, and then others, it's not really a good fit at all. But when I just put my finger there in the middle, there's a ton of paint on this that I did not realize. So, I shall be tilting a lot more anyways. It's, I'm sorry you guys can't see how it's dripping off the that end over there. So cool, like. And if I lose those flowers, I'm okay, because um, flowers, oh my gosh, I've never called them that before. Yuck, I don't, I don't like that I just called them flowers. I might, I can't get the paint to pour off this corner. No, 
this was straight white. I should not have probably done that. So I resin some pieces yesterday and um, one of them was perfect except for this little black, looks almost like a pebble. I'm like, how on earth? What is that? So now I gotta put resin on the whole thing again, but that's all right. It's on a canvas, so I kind of like two coats of resin on there anyways. I really hate that yellow. Wondering what I can do about it. I am still as far as resin goes, I am still totally undecided on art resin versus stone coat. Um, I am honestly finding not a lot to be different between them. Um, and with the coupon codes that are out, um, it, the stone coat is cheaper, like Christina Welch has one. Um, I am blanking on her code, but I will um, put it in the description or she watches. So Christina, you can comment on that, but I'll try and remember to put it in the um, description because that'll give you 30 bucks off. Um, shipping is 15 so you'll still get another 15 bucks off and so it is cheaper than the art resin but I mean if they were the exact same price I this yellow is awful Ugh. Um, just gonna keep trying to smash it even if it means smashing out the design um, I am undecided about them. The stone coat's a little thicker, which, um, is most noticeable mixing. I know some of you have, um, some strength, um, issues in your hands. Um, so art resin would be easier for you, um, because the stone coat is, is noticeably more difficult to um, stir. But, okay, I, this was pretty. And then I keep talking and I've totally screwed it up because I'm not paying attention at all to what I'm doing. I'm just yammering. So we'll see if I can save it. Because um, it, it did start out really nice. <laughs> And then I just started talking and not looking. But as for their drying, I do not notice that one is thicker than one is dries harder than the other. I haven't noticed that. Um, art resin smells better. Um, I don't know. And I totally screwed this up. So what I think I'm going to do is wipe this off and do this pour again on another video without the yellow. So you guys are going to have to wait till tomorrow to see what happens to this because um, it is going away. Um, in reality, I am going to immediately turn you off and turn you back on. But since I'm cruel, I'm going to make you wait till tomorrow to see what happens. And in my next video, I'm going to try and talk less and pay attention more. And so basically, you've probably learned absolutely nothing in this video except that um, I'm undecided about the resin, um, about the old lady, the artist that lives in a mental hospital, and my dog. 
So there you have it. <laughs> well, I hope you had fun at least. So I will about to turn you off and turn you right back on. Catch you next time. Bye.